Welcome to Hunters Connect. Choosing the right setup for upland hunting can be daunting. Between the numerous variety of shotguns, the ammo available, and the combinations of chokes used in each scenario, today I'm gonna help you choose the best setup to help you be more successful on your next hunting trip. Let's talk about shotgun selection. The pump shotgun is a classic shotgun used in upland hunting. It requires you to slide the forend back to chamber shell. You're only allowed to have three shells in your gun for hunting purposes, two in the magazine, and one in the chamber. A pump shotgun is a good shotgun for beginners. It allows you time between each shot to think and realign, and with time and experience, you can be fast with it in the field. Next, let's talk about one of the more popular options, the semi-automatic. The semi-auto will chamber around with each trigger pull. It also goes by the two to one ratio, one in the chamber, two in the magazine. It is a good intermediate to expert gun because without practice and accuracy, you will burn through a lot of shells. Another popular option is the break action shotgun. The over and under and the side by side are the two most popular break action guns. As the name states, the over under, one barrel on top of the other, and the side by side, the barrels set aligned to each other. The over under is my favorite gun and a great beginner's gun. You have to open it to load it. You have full view of the breech and whether the gun is loaded or not. They do, however, come with a steeper price tag. Barrel length is a common topic. For upland hunting, the ranges are usually between 24 and 30 inches. It all depends on the environment you'll be hunting. Will you be hunting in the north woods in the thick aspens where that shorter barrel might get you more swing and time on the bird? Or will you be on the plains where a little more length and accuracy can give you success on a covey rise? The most common gauges for upland hunting are 12 gauge, 20 gauge, 16 gauge, 28 gauge, and 410 with 12 gauge like the one in front of me and 20 gauge like the one I'm holding being the most popular of the two. Both are good for a wide range of upland game and shells can be found in local stores and online. I personally hunt with both 12 and 20 gauge throughout the season. Next, let's talk about chokes. Most new shotguns come with screw-in chokes, ranging from cylinder to improved cylinder, modified, improved modified, and full. They help determine how dense or open your pattern will be. In allowing the selection and pattern density, the hunter has the option to choose what pattern is best for them. I change my patterns out throughout the season. In early season, I'll run an improved cylinder and modified. The birds are holding tighter and I want that more open pattern. Later in the season, I'll move to a improved modified modified the birds have been under more pressure, they're not holding as tight and flushing further out. That denser pattern gives me a little further range and a little more options in connecting with that shot. Finding the correct ammo is a crucial component of a successful hunt. The market consists of non-toxic and lead shot. Some state and federal areas require non-toxic shot, so please check your regulations. Knowing what you'll be hunting helps determine what size shot you'll need. I start and end my season hunting quail with number seven and a half or eight shot. I start the season hunting chucker, huns, and grouse with seven and a halfs, and I end the season hunting with six. Pheasants, I hunt number six all year round. Two and three quarters in the beginning of the season, three inch at the end. Again, because the birds aren't holding as tight and I might have to take a little longer shot. I change my shells and my chokes throughout the season to best suit the scenario. Hope this helps you make the best informed setup decision for upland hunting in your area. Please feel free to comment below with any questions and thanks for watching Hunters Connect.